All right, a lot to ground to cover here. I know we all want to talk about this potential for a storm and the next week, possibly next weekend. So that's going to be first and foremost, but we can't get past heat today. Could be record heat and we're well on our way. And boy, does it really, really feel hot. May look out hot outside there in the Hyatt Regency cam. But let's start with this system that's just off the coast of South America, Venezuela. The latest data is in. And let me tell you, there are some signs of things changing, but maybe changing for the better for us. What the longer range outlook, this is still a long, long ways away. Now, right now, I showed this earlier where the depiction of the center of low pressure, it kind of stops here. That's because the update's not coming in just yet. This was from earlier this morning. We'll be getting updates as we get into the afternoon hours. The one o'clock update, second half of the show will form. I showed you earlier that at least the start of where that low is, that determines where these tracks will be. And these may not be our best forecast data at this time, but it has been trending a little farther north and east tracks if you kind of look and compare them to others. Now, this forecast data is brand new from this morning that just came in. This is the United States, one of our best global forecasts all across the globe, but we're focused there on what's happening in the Caribbean. Each one of these, there's 30 different one of these could provide at least a potential showing the track. What does this all mean? together. I want to focus you on where you start to see these tracks clustered together right here. That is some of the best signs because it's shifted a little east from previous days. But really the big takeaway here is look at all the tracks in the huge span all the way from the Bay of Campeche all the way to the Western Atlantic that that could provide where this track could go. So this is just the latest forecast from, again, this best data that is here in the United States. It's still showing not a whole lot of organization, even as we get into this weekend. And the latest shows really not some organization and strengthening until we get to next week. That's a different forecast showing that it's not strengthening as early as it could be. Look at where it's here at 11 o'clock on Monday, getting into the Yucatan Channel off the Yucatan Peninsula. But if I compare that to a forecast out of Europe, and this is last night's, but there's still a big difference between where it tracks here to the Yucatan Channel to possibly Western Cuba. Those subtle differences, it's a huge impact to what it could mean for us. So the steering patterns, when you look at what could do it, is there's this big storm in US to Canada, and then the Bermuda highs that nudge in. Our forecast in the United States want to nudge that little Bermuda high a little farther west, whereas in Europe, it wants to backtrack it a little east. Another way to show this is the currents here pushing the potential for that storm a little bit farther west. But you can see there in Europe, the differences here, very subtle, could mean a big change in the track. So I'm going to focus on that very closely the closer we get to it. But right now, this is still a long ways away. There's nothing definitive we can say where exactly that track will be. The latest coming in was for the intensity too. Still can't forget about Hurricane Fiona. This has now spawned hurricane warnings for Bermuda. But the good news with that is it's also in a weakening stage starting right now. It'll maintain strength a little bit, but it's weakening now to Cat 3 as it just gets west of Bermuda. This is still hurricane force strength as it slams into Nova Scotia to Canada. But technically speaking, it won't be a tropical system. Still, there are other tropical waves out in the Atlantic. There's Gaston, but of course, the main focus will continue to be and be on will be that tropical wave.